and friendly encounter. We're having tea. Yeah. Got it? Well, haven't I? <laughs> yes, indeed you have. Why, thank you. Would you like some tea? Oh, yes, thank you. Susie, get the tea! Yes, ma'am, right, right away. <sighs> Sometimes you're just so lazy. So, I heard you went to Paris. Oh, yes, it was delightful. Here's your tea. Be careful. Susie, the sugar spoon! Oh, yes, ma'am. There you go. Gosh, I don't think she has a brain. Thank you, miss. You're welcome, madame. <laughs> Oops, I forgot the sugar. So, is there any particular reason you invited me here today? Well, there's one particularly simple explanation to your question. And that would be, when a tiger wants meat, he desires it. Because he knows it'll make him feel good and healthy when he eats it. And for me, I don't want to eat my prize. I want to have it. It will make me wealthy and known to everyone and famous. So, I just want you to know that I really don't like you that much. And that I think your hair is quite ugly and your hat is... I just, I just want to throw up on it. And over there, your servant, I really don't like his eyeliner stuff. It looks hideous. And... But, Marty, I thought we were friends. Well, when the tiger wants me... Stop with the tiger! Okay, fine. Plain and simple, I want your necklace. I know its secrets and where it's been. I know how valuable it is. I trusted you, Marty. That's too bad, for I will have your necklace. And this is why you're staying with me. This, this is enough. This is gone too far. Scott, Marcus, get <laughs> 